So here we are, um, we're day two after a cruciate ligament surgery. Um, this is unfortunately the second time this little boy's had to go through this. Um, the first time was probably a little bit more traumatic for us all because uh, we weren't prepared for what we were going to have to go through and I think the tear was quite severe. Um, people talk about uh, repairing um, ACLs that have ruptured without surgery. Um, we did try that the first time. We used braces, we did resting, we did everything. Unfortunately for us, it just got worse. So when we went to the vet this time and um, we were told he'd done the second ACL, um, it was a no-brainer for us that um, he was going to have the surgery immediately. Now someone's just arrived. So as you can see, he's a little bit alert. Um, he's even lying on the uh, wound at the moment. So I'm going to go and then um, I've actually taken his collar off because I'm watching him at the moment. But I will uh, touch base with you guys after when I can just see um, exactly who's coming. I'll show you the wound. Um, he's eaten. Um, he is obviously on pain meds. Um, we are carrying him out uh, to the grass area to go to the toilet, which at this stage he's, he's doing very well. We haven't uh, done the number two yet, but certainly we've done quite a lot of number ones. And um, we've just put him in the playpen. He's, he's, he's quite comfortable. Um, and at this point, uh, we're traveling along okay. So um, I will touch base with you before the end of the night and hopefully uh, you can have a look at the wound area. And um, yeah, hopefully at some point this will help somebody else that um, is trying to make a decision whether they have the ACL surgery, but more to the point, what the recovery is like. Talk to you soon.